So this is an osteon of thalamic anatomy. So which test is being done and which no is being assessed? Okay, so this test is is pupillary direct or pupillary light reflex. This is direct or pupillary light reflex. Because you are focusing torch, you can see this animation. There is a you know a light being you know focused upon this pupil, and like you know a flash. If you focus on this animation, there's a flash in between. So, because of that flash, uh, you know, there's constriction of the pupil. Now, I mean, you know, what is being asked is about the nerve. There is nothing as exactly to point out that which nerve is being assessed because it's, a, you know, reflex and reflex is in an arc. So, it has an afferent component and an efferent component. And so, I think I should draw it here for your convenience remember like this these are the two pupils right and left this one will be the right and this will be the left because you're seeing the subject here now the afferent limb afferent limb of this arc is made up of three neuro i mean uh, you know this is basically a complete arc is of six neurons so four neurons in the afferent limb and two neurons in the efferent limb so here first first neuron will remember will be the i think i should use this first is rods or cones first neuron second neurons will be the bipolar bipolar cells and the third neurons will be the ganglion cells of the retina so these ganglion cells of the retina actually they come out as optic nerve and then optic nerve continues of course you know that you know the nasal fibers on the upper retina they will join here like this at, uh, through this optic chiasma ultimately you know this becomes an optic tract so optic nerve then optic tract and ultimately from optic tract 90% fibers reach to the LGB, but 10% fibers which do not reach to LGB, they bypass LGB and will reach to the nucleus here present in the midbrain at the level of superior colliculus. And this nucleus is called pretectal nucleus. Got it? So it's the third neuron which reaches to the pretectal nucleus and then of course you have a pretectal nucleus of the opposite side as well and then here you have is the edinger westphal nucleus right close to this oculomotor nerve nucleus there will be of course oculomotor nerve nucleus also surrounding close by now uh, because there is still a neuron the fourth neuron the fourth neuron, I'm drawing it in white color, that fourth neuron has many options actually, or not options, rather it passes to three different nuclei. So the fourth neuron actually um, is, you know, it uh, these fibers, the afferent fibers from pretectal reach to both the edinger westphal nucleus, both uh, right and left. And, you know, this edinger westphal nucleus is edinger westphal PG right because preganglionic fibers will arise from here and it also gives fibers the commissural fibers to the opposite pretectal nucleus as well so these these neurons are actually number fourth neurons these neurons are fourth neurons all of them okay now the efferent pathway will arise from edinger westphal nucleus 
so the efferent neurons i am drawing here is in pink color so the efferent neuron from edinger vespal will carry on along with this oculomotor nerve an oculomotor nerve through its inferior division when it enters the, the orbit through this nerve to inferior oblique there will be a suspended ganglion and that is called ciliary ganglion so this is the fifth neuron right preganglionic parasympathetic neuron relaying in the ciliary ganglion and from the ciliary ganglion now it will be the sixth neuron and this sixth neuron is postganglionic parasympathetic fibers and they will you know pass along with the short ciliary nerves short ciliary nerves so it's a six neuron and will now constrict the constrictor pupillae but remember because these fibers are relating to opposite adding of espal as well so when you focus light here you know this will at the same time through this opposite adding of espal it will also constrict the opposite eye also that is indirect reflex in the opposite eye or the consensual eye reflex now the question is what will you answer in this because it, it will be pupillary light reflex so remember <coughs> it is pre tectal nucleus unilateral right on the same side edinga vespal of course reaches to the bilateral side but what the, what i'm saying is in case they ask like all of this complete uh, reflex arc if it is in a form of mcq and they say uh, you know mm, which is in you know nerve of course they will not ask because it's an arc but the thing is what they can ask is uh, which lesion is actually happening or uh, which uh, lesion at which side will cause impairment of this pupillary reflex so in such conditions because i know in your exam sometimes they form such questions which do not have exact the appropriate answers but remember this reflex always when they ask is about the pretectal nucleus okay so remember in one single word if they ask what controls this is pretectal nucleus okay